So now we will work on the second step which is basically to save the user info alongside with the user image download URL to the Firestore database. Now we can simply call here a function which is save user or you can say save information to database. We will implement this method now. So here above the widget build we can say serve information to database and it will be asynchronous. Now before saving information to the database we will do one thing which is basically to you can say authenticate the user using the Firebase authentication. That is it will check that is either the email which the user provide here in the registration form if this is already assigned to any other user or not okay if this is assigned then it will simply return an error message that is this email is already in someone else use okay or let's say if the email is new if it is not assigned to any previous user or any other user then we can simply perform the successful registration so first of all using the authentication okay using the uh, firebase authentication we will authenticate the user that is if an email is new and if that email is not in someone else use then we will simply save that here okay inside the authentication first and then we will save the data to firestore so first of all let's authenticate the user i hope you understand the whole in, uh, whole idea which i have explained okay we need to create an instance of user which belongs to firebase or dot dot package so we will give it name as a current user and then we can simply say wait firebase or dot instance dot create user with email and password dot then and if any error occur then it will automatically return us that error message which we can get using the dot catch error default function okay default method so we can say error message so first of all we are creating user with email and password okay and here we have to provide the email with the user type and then the password the second parameter then the next thing is we check okay we create user with email and password so the result we can get using this auth so let's say if everything goes successful then this will execute and we can simply get that user using the or dot user and we will assign that to the current user okay if everything goes successful then this dot then statement will execute that is we will get that user authentication information and we will assign it to the current user otherwise if everything goes unsuccessful that is let's say if any error occur let's say the u the email address is already in someone else use or let's say it can be any other error okay so that error message will i mean here we can display it using this error message that is this statement will execute and that error message will be here it will return and assign to this error message by default okay so let's just display that error message whatever we get as a result so we can say flutter toast dot show toast and the message will be we can simply say error occurred error occurred and in the next line we can simply say error message 
which we can do so using the dollar sign error message okay this variable error message so whatever the error message returns from the authentication firebase authentication it will be display here okay inside the flutter toast message and it will in case of error it will return from here otherwise if everything goes successful then the user authentication information uh, we assign to the current user and then we are going to first check that if the current user is not equals to null then we will simply save the save the info to database 